Hello students uh, today we are going to discuss about the isometric projection of the following figure here you, see, you can see uh, the sketch is given and uh, here we have a front view of that uh, 30 and uh, 30 it is a square prism and in front of that we have another square prism whose side length uh, is 30 mm and for the both the prisms one is horizontally mounted another one is vertically mounted for both of that prism the width height of that is 60 here as you can see for the vertical uh, prism it is 60 for the horizontal prism also it is 60 so let us start with an uh, projection so here we are going to use a thick line and we are going to use a, a black itself directly i am going to draw so here i will start with so side length is given as 30 30 30 30 150 30 minus 150 and 30 again minus 30 now i am going to take the height height is 60 and it is 90 so again here i have to construct another square instead i am going to select the square which is already existing select this move turn on the copy command select this place it over here right click then select this join from this corner to this corner that's supposed to be 60 join from this corner to this corner that's supposed to be 60 now these two lines are hidden lines so i'm going to convert that into a thin line as you can see i can also convert into a gray color line a invisible line like this right so this is the one vertical prism now we have one more prism which is uh, facing towards the left face right since it is towards the left left face so here i have to draw in this face uh, a horizontally mounted rectangle i have to draw at this angle now i am going to use a different angle before that i had to find the center of this i am going to use thin line and i am going to find the center of this easily i can draw from this midpoint to this midpoint so the midpoint of this will be the center right now i'm going to uh, again use the thick line directly i'm going to go for the construction of this so here whenever we are drawing towards the left face the angle is going to be 90 degree and uh, uh, this is 150 degree minus 90 and it is minus 30 i can use that as you can see it here 90 degree right so here vertical line and uh, this is at an angle of 150 degree this is at an angle of minus 90 degree and this will be at an angle of minus 30 degree so i can use this so i'll go for this take a line now i'll start with this so it is 30 90 now i need a line like this the length is 30 the angle as you can see it is 150 next i'm going to use a below line so the length is 30 the angle supposed to be minus 90 then i am going to join from here to here right since this is a profile i am going to make it into thick line a dark line thick dark line as you can see it here now find the center of this it's very easy to find the center midpoint to midpoint so from this midpoint to midpoint okay so it's very easy to find the center of this just a minute okay now that we got the center point here again at this angle at minus 150 degree I, I can take the height of this 60 here i'm going to use the thick line and it is a dark line so i'm going to use 60 at an angle of minus you can also take it in this way like 30 degree you can take it you can also give it a try with this right very simple now I'm going to use one more one uh, I'm going to use move tool once again so select this go to move turn on the copy command as you can see it here select this place it at this exact point right now I'm going to join this from this end from this corner to this corner and again from this corner to this corner now I'm going to select this so I can hold control and I can select multiple lines over here easily I can select like this or i can just drag it like this to get select all of that now go to move this time i'm going to turn off the copy command 
I am going to pick the midpoint. I am going to place it exactly in the midpoint of this. Now, what are the things that I have to keep? This line will not be visible and I can make it into an hidden line. And there are few lines which I have to make it hidden like this line. Uh, this this many lines are already already made it as in hidden line and uh, once again i'm going to make that uh, thin line and hidden line and remaining this inside line will also be hidden so i'm going to use split tool go to split uh, select this and i'm going to split that intersection select this i'm going to split at this intersection similarly select this and i'm going to split at this intersection now i'm going to select all of this something like this this will be hidden so i'm going to make it into thin line and invisible thin and invisible line okay like this and this will not be visible so i'm going to delete this here there is a line which will not be visible i'm going to use trim i'm going to trim these two line okay this one also you can trim it that is no longer required okay so this is not yet complete you have to convert that into iso now i am going to select this drag this something like this now go to isometric scale here the uh, scale factor is supposed to be 0, 0 0.8164 uh, that anyways round it off to 0 0.82 as you can see it here i will place where exactly it was before right so i'm not going to change the position what are the things that you have to show here you can just show 30 degree angle you can draw the horizontal line over here from here you can draw the horizontal line like this it's supposed to be thin line you can make it into thin line okay and you can use angle between uh, select this select this and you can show 30 degree if you want you can also show the side length of this as you can see it here something like this or you can also uh, go for uh, inclined line and you can change this okay you can also show this value whatever the value it is okay it is iso 60 you can change that into iso 60 select this uh, make it into blank and in prefixes you can change it into uh, iso 60 press okay now like this if you want you can give further more dimensions so that's about it thank you so much if you like the video please uh, uh, press the like button and subscribe thank you